Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. I finally have a way to get some decent lighting for my videos and pictures. These Chinese paper lanterns, or china balls, diffuse the light really nicely and give a much higher quality look to things than I had before. I now have a fully adjustable key and fill light. I bought these paper lanterns some time ago at Party Galaxy and wired them up to some lamp sockets. Now of course you can get purpose-built lighting stands and everything, but I had cymbal stands laying around because I don't play my drums anymore, so I use that, and it provides a lot more adjustability than uh, any lighting stand ever could. Now I also built this dimmer box to control my lights, because it wouldn't be much good without this. I would have to move them around in order to adjust their brightness levels. So this definitely makes it a little bit handier. Check out the link to see how this thing was built. And here's what it looks like under the lighting in the room. And here's what I can do now. I think you'll agree that this is a lot better. And it didn't cost very much and it was really easy to do. Let me show you how easy it is to wire these lights. So here's the supplies you'll need. A screwdriver, some needle nose pliers, and some wire cutters, perhaps. I got a socket here from Walmart for about a dollar or two. The bottom just pops off, and the guts of it slide out. This is a three-way socket. You can see the positive and negative terminals. This particular socket is used with a three-way light, so it has three clicks uh, for each on setting. This cord I salvaged off another old lamp. I couldn't find my wire strippers, so I'm just nipping at it here around to strip off the insulation with my wire cutters. Now if you look at indoor household cords, you'll see that the, one of the wires has writing on it, the other wire has little uh, ribbing on it. So here if you look at the plug, the neutral side is the one that's fatter. The next thing to do is to tie what is called a UL knot. Luckily on the back of the package it says how we need to make our UL knot, because I can never remember how to do it. So we make one loop like this with the right side wire, just loop it around itself, cross it, bring the left side wire over that one, and then back through the loop on the right. Make sure that it matches up with the diagram. Yes, it does. The gold one is the hot side. The silver one is the neutral side. And remember, the neutral side wire has the ribbing on it. Make sure you wrap it clockwise around your screw terminal because as you tighten the screw, you want it to pull the wire in rather than to push it back out. So always on all screw terminals, wrap your wires around clockwise. And this is what the UL knot was for. It's to prevent the wires from pulling out of these terminals and then having live wires somewhere. But you can see it looks like my knot may be a little bit low. Let me slide my knot up just a bit. That's one good thing about the UL knot is it does slide fairly easily, but then once it's cinched it holds tight. And then this uh, cover simply slides back over and then pops into place. And that feels really secure. And there you have it. That's how you wire the lamp socket for this project, or most any other lamp socket for that matter. Here's the thing I made out of a coat hanger to support this ball since it didn't come with anything. These little hooks here clamp right around the light socket for this ball. These little pieces right here fit into the holes in the top of the ball, and I bent the corners in on the bottom to hold it. So you can see it fits in just like so, and insert the little rings into these top holders. And this is a little bit longer than it needs to be to provide spring pressure to hold the ball open. And then my light socket fits right there in that little square clamp in the middle. Here you can see my 18 inch ball all flat. I've got my cord all wired up now and so I'm ready to put everything together. Luckily this one came with the support and I didn't have to make my own. 
You can see down inside here how this all works. Those wires are a little bit longer so they stay curved. China balls are really great too because they're easy to transport since they collapse. This little C-clamp right here is what holds the wire in place. I bought a three-way. It's a 50, 100, and 150 watt. That gives me three different power settings in addition to the settings that I can get from my dimmer switch. And that's all there is to it. And you can see that the ball will hang from the cord just like so. Go ahead and check out the dimmer box video uh, if you haven't already so you can see how this was built. And definitely subscribe so that you can stay updated on all my other projects. And as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.